Heartstopper Season 3 centers once more on its central relationships, with Nick and Charlie's taking a more mature direction that sets up big stories for Season 4. The show's new season focused heavily on Charlie and Nick's relationship, though not without losing the beautiful sense of community Heartstopper is known for. From Charlie and Nick telling each other they love each other to thinking about the next steps in their lives decorated by Heartstopper's signature animated moments, the show still keeps the core group mostly together. However, Heartstopper Season 3's ending is different in the sense of maturity it possesses. While Heartstopper's feel-good needle drops and funny moments are prevalent, the exploration of mental health, LGBTQ plus identities, and the overall troubles of life are explored in a thought-provoking way. Leading on nicely from Heartstopper Season 2's ending, Season 3's story keeps the stories of Nick, Charlie, Elle, Dow, Isaac, Tara, Darcy, and Imogen to the fore while introducing stronger character arcs for those formerly in the background and setting up stories for Season 4. Charlie and Nick's relationship in Heartstopper Season 3 explained. The two central characters grow closer than ever. For the most part, Heartstopper Season 3's ending solidifies Nick and Charlie as a strong relationship that has overcome many trials and tribulations. That said, most of these obstacles came in Heartstopper Season 3, from the early episodes in which Charlie struggles to tell Nick that he loves him to their time apart as the former deals with his mental health. However, as the season goes on, Charlie and Nick become even more inseparable by confessing their love for one another and taking their intimate relationship to the next stage. The latter half of the season, going up to Heartstopper Season 3's ending, deals with Charlie and Nick's growing physical connection. The two are clearly in love, yet they begin to explore the more sexual side of their connection as they grow older with the show. This exploration is depicted beautifully and sensitively, leaving Charlie and Nick's relationship stronger than ever as of Heartstopper Season 3's ending, though not without potential speed bumps ahead for Season 4 as Nick considers moving away for university. How Charlie's mental health storyline gave Heartstopper Season 3 a mature through line. Charlie's character arc was incredibly powerful. Joe Locke in Heartstopper Season 3 while Nick comforts Charlie at school custom image by SR staff. Throughout most of Heartstopper Seasons 1 and 2, Charlie's arc predominantly surrounded his relationship with Nick. However, some more mature elements were introduced in Heartstopper Season 2's latter half, specifically the effects Charlie's bullies had on him, his lack of eating, and self-harm. These elements were explored further in Heartstopper Season 3, with Charlie seeking out time at a mental health clinic to deal with his eating disorder. Although mental health issues in young adults are a common topic for most YA stories, eating disorders are grossly underrepresented. As a result, Charlie's arc was incredibly powerful in Heartstopper Season 3 ending. Not only did it make the character infinitely more sympathetic, but how it affected those around him and eventually strengthened his romantic relationship with Nick is likely a big reason behind Heartstopper Season 3's strong reviews. The maturity shown to allow such hard-hitting subjects to be explored was refreshing, without losing sight of what makes the show special. Elle's art storyline in Heartstopper Season 3 explained. Ella and Dow's relationship takes somewhat of a backseat. Elle looking sad in an interview in Heartstopper Season 3, 2024. In Heartstopper Season 3, Elle and Dow spend more time apart given the former's enrollment in art school. Despite their relationship still going strong and being well represented, Elle's love of art gave her a more personal story in Heartstopper Season 3. As Elle's art grew in popularity on social media, she was invited to a local radio station to talk about her experience. While there, however, Elle was bombarded with questions about coming out as trans as opposed to focusing on her art.